So thank you so much for watching. So this is uh, about um, Sue Gray's long way to report into a series of parties held in and around Docking, Downing Street in breach of lockdown rules. So it's finally been published now the police investigations are over. Sue Gray is a high ranking civil servant who was tasked by the Prime Minister with investigating into this and it seems like he chose well. It's, it's dispiriting and um, as, I, as I predicted, um, he had chosen somebody who knew to be anodyne, someone who didn't want to rock the boat. She's a Mandarin, she speaks Mandarin, just as they said of Lord Butler of Brockwell when he was commissioned by Tony Blair to examine the use of intelligence um, as justification for the liberation of Iraq in 2000. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, Sue Gray arrived at some conclusions which are really incontrovertible, and notably, um, the Conservative government hasn't contested any of this, so far as I know, that, um, that uh, um, lots of um, senior bureaucrats attended events which should not have been allowed, as Sue Gray put it, and that the Prime Minister and his Camarilla, that they bear responsibility for this culture. And that's absolutely true. Or, 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 so I'm going to have to reject something just there. Um, uh, anyway, so uh, they were warned that they were breaking their own rules. The Prime Minister had himself announced live on television um, that there was a, a, a um, culture of getting into a crapulous state, um, staff vomiting because they were so inebriated, um, and uh, verbally abusing the cleaning staff and indeed the security guards. So it's all quite sh shocking. As a civil servants have said to me, somebody who's right down the bottom of the pecking order will be sacked for far less than the Prime Minister's done. So it really is disgraceful. Um, anyway, um, uh, Boris Johnson later told the House of Commons I take full responsibility for everything that took place on my watch. I've been humbled by the whole experience. For these learned lessons. Well, all right, resign then. Um, if you're responsible for breaking this, do you wish to align to a lockdown party? Hey, well, I do too. But you know, there's a difference. Would I have gone? Or maybe, but I'm not the Prime Minister. He's got to set an example. The person right at the top of the totem pole has to lead by example. It can't be do as I say, say not do as I do. He didn't break it once. He went to at least three parties and he didn't break it at the margins. It wasn't trivial. It was massive scale. Look, Allegra Stratton, his spokeswoman, she um, was pressured into resigning over a party that she did not even attend just for laughing about it. And yet the guy right at the top can flagrantly break the rules on a massive scale and, and not pay any price for it. He's apologised, but, you know, paying a 50 quid fine, I mean, it's just um, uh, preposterously small. Uh, it's de minimis. Anyway, so he said he's not going to resign, he's going to keep moving forward. So it's shameful. I don't think Churchill would resign over a thing, such a thing, because Churchill wouldn't do such a thing. And Churchill, by the way, is, is not an unproblematic figure, even for, for Conservatives. Um, so uh, now the, the leader of Her Majesty's most loyal opposition, Sir Keir Starmer, He's currently under investigation by officers of the law about um, allegedly breaching lockdown. He'd been at some Labour Party work event, then he was drinking a beer, then this turned into a social soiree or whatever. So um, um, in a heated Prime Minister's question time, Sir Keir Starmer, the Labour leader, he told the First Lord of the Treasury to pack his bag, the game is up. It's time to tender his resignation and get out. But Bojo is not doing so, and he thinks he can ride out the storm. And, 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 and one of the parties was, I think, that the, the, um, the night before Prince Philip's funeral last April carried on till 4 a.m. So uh, anyway, um, Sue Gray could have said that the prime minister must resign. Even then, he probably wouldn't have resigned. But I think I think she pulled some punches. I think she should have been harder on him. Um, and there was there was this drunkenness. She mentioned a minor altercation between two individuals. So that, that's a fight in plain English. Um, uh, anyway, so people people were definitely drunk according to this, and as I say, it appears to be incontrovertible. She said there were multiple examples of disrespect and poor treatment of security and cleaning staff. Um, there was a time when the, the, um, the special advisor supposedly said, uh, be helpful to people, uh, would didn't walk around waving bottles of wine because they wanted to keep it secret. One, uh, one senior staffer said, we've got away with it. There was um, the Prime Minister's uh, secretary, Martin Reynolds, wrote to people, bring your own bottle for that gardens party. Britain go to church, I would go for, would go for a selfie. Yeah, good point, actually. I mean, uh, so Churchill was a flawed figure, but he was physically courageous, he was morally courageous, and so on. 
I mean, Morris doesn't have much in common with him. Okay, they're, they're tremendous writers, but um, that's about it. And, you know, Churchill was a little bit self-seeking. We should um, decanonize him. He can't be completely on a pedestal. He had his shortcomings, but he also had enormous virtues. Whereas, whereas um, uh, Boris Johnson has talents. I don't think he has any virtues. I don't think they've ever taken a moral stand on anything. I mean, Ukraine, to some extent, partly because it's a welcome diversion from all his domestic discontent intense for his honesty. I don't think they give him Bojo a hard time as well. I think it's shocking, it's shameful, it's despicable what he's done. Um, so, you know, ordinary people have to make much bigger sacrifices than the person right at the top is being a blatant hypocrite. So it's I'm, I'm sickened by it. Anyway, so he's not, if you take responsibility, you either carry the can and resign. Yeah, and what he was doing was a super spreader of, uh, event. People will have caught coronavirus as, as an example of this. Um, uh, anyway, so he sometimes said that he'd left parties before they really there was really got into the swing of things. I have no knowledge of subsequent proceedings because I simply wasn't there. Well, it's your job to know what's going on. No, you can't know absolutely everything in the United Kingdom, but they're your staff. You know these people every day. They report to you. You've got to get the truth out of them. I mean, they're CCTV cameras. It's not too difficult to find out. So, I mean, he's just lied and lied and lied about this. Um, he's told the most barefaced lies in the House of Commons, which is a resigning matter. But no, he'll brass it out. Is just so brazen. The Prime Minister believe, makes you makes you think you're above the law. Well, the, well Boris Johnson does believe he's above the law. So I'm 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 uh, uh, well. How would I put this? I'm disappointed, but not surprised that he's got away with not even a rap on the knuckles for this one. Um, anyway, the these these were social events. Do you think they would eat GMO food during a lockdown party? Genetically modified. I hadn't thought about it actually. So, I mean, so Sue Gray got information from the police and from other people. She interviewed lots of people. Photographs have been published of, of, of Boris Johnson, him sipping alcohol at these things. What's the relevance of the alcohol? Why does it matter if it's alcohol or not? As in, you, you thought you, you wouldn't be drinking alcohol if it was a work event. That turns it into a social event. A lot of workplaces, you're not allowed to drink alcohol um, if, if you're working there. Um, but there is a definition of what's a work event. If it's a party after work, is that a work event or not? which becomes pertinent if there are allegations of sexual harassment at work and things like that. Um, anyway, so Sue Gray says many of these things should not be allowed to happen. That's true. Um, but anyway, um, and she said that people lower down the pecking order thought that attending these things was permissible on the ground that um, their superiors were there. It's fair enough. You're, you're led by your seniors. You follow their example, follow the leader. And so um, uh, I just think that there has to be accountability. And, and people uh, should resign or be sacked for it. And that, that includes the Prime Minister. Um, that would include some other people. You know, I'm not a very harsh person. I do believe in giving people several chances. If it was uh, a marginal breach, that would be different if there was genuine contrition. But um, no, he's not remotely contrite. Uh, and he did it several times. This is not a petty matter. I don't believe in people resigning over six petty matters, but this is grave. Um, anyway, and so remember when, when this all came to light, before Christmas last year, he said, I'm happy to set on the record what I said. I came to this house in all sincerity. The rules and guidance have been followed at all times, and so on. What a blatant lie. He's not an Im imbecile. He doesn't have that. Boris is primus inter pares. He can and will get away with it. Yeah, indeed. And, and what an example he set for the civil service. Uh, remember, he's also minister for the civil service, as well as being prime minister. So the rot has really set, it, uh, set in with him. So Keir Starmer, I have to hand it to him with his forensic quest forensic questioning, his rapier-like approach to Boris Johnson. He got to the truth. And Bojo tried to parry as much as I could, but he was sometimes cornered. And uh, as Starmer correctly said, he treated the sacrifice of British people with utter contempt. So that's it. I wish Boris Johnson would go, but I think he's not going to go for at least several months. And he might not even go this year. Thank you for watching. Bye.